What is up guys in today's video we're going to be talking about fortnite's birthday update and everything that changed in fortnite because of this as always if you guys do find this video helpful informative interesting remember to give it a like subscribe if you like to see more and comment down below how long you've been playing fortnite because this is fortnite's sixth birthday which is just crazy to think about uh like how much this game has changed like so many people's lives and just like the gaming space as a whole for this update, we got presents, balloons, cake, and a few augments unvaulted. Presents are unvaulted for this event, and you can find them like how you would any other loot in the game, like on ground and chests, anything like that. And when you throw it, it spawns a present, and there's some loot inside. These have been in the game several times for like Fortnite's birthday events or for like the winter holidays. Not really anything n too new here. Typically, people just kind of look at the ground and throw it and get the loot and more loot is nice one kind of you know change here is that these can spawn exotic weapons in this clip here i got the exotic slap splashes from my present and i've been told you can get the maven and breacher shotgun from these as well but i didn't personally get them from a present at all the only exotic i ever got was slap splashes but it did seem to me like more players today had the exotic maven than usual i was running into this weapon a lot so don't ignore these presents sometimes you'll get not the greatest stuff but you can potentially get exotics some of which are the best weapons in the game right now cake is at every named poi on the map and you can eat it to gain health and shield very similar to what we've had for every other birthday event you know it's nice if you need heals off spawn or maybe you don't find shield whatever not too big of a game changer though and then finally balloons are unvaulted as an item and they're also available from an augment which is the jump balloon augment which will give you a balloon every time you jump until you reach max balloon so this augment seems like a much better version of the balloon augment we had in chapter 4 season 1 where you would just gain balloons constantly or like over time you know with this augment you only get the balloons when you're jumping so you have a little bit more control over whether or not you have balloons some players like to combine the balloons with like shock waves or the rocket ram to go super far but you do leave yourself very vulnerable to getting beamed and the twin mag ar is ridiculous even at very long range so be you know careful when using balloons you're a very easy target if you do get shot out when you're in the balloon so you could combo it with like the deku smash or the ice wall to avoid the fall damage that you would take from getting shot out but over overall like if you're serious about playing the game and you just want to do well and win matches i wouldn't really advise using the balloons very much it's more of like kind of like a troll or a meme item this update also unvaulted the Shell Slide and Bloodhound augments. Shell Slide is the augment which gives you shotgun shells for sliding, and Bloodhound is the augment which marks enemies when you tag them with a marksman rifle. So whether it's the sniper or the thermal DMR, if you tag somebody with it, they'll be pinged for your teammates. This can be really good with the sniper. If you play team game modes and like to run the sniper, I would highly recommend using this augment if you get it. Just because if you body somebody, and then everybody in your team sees that person get pinged. Not only is that person going to be weak, but everyone knows where they are and everybody knows that that person is weak. So if you're someone who plays team game modes and you're typically sniping for your team, I would definitely recommend taking the Bloodhound Augment. I think it's very good for that. And then the Game Time Augment, which grants you pizza and chug splash, is finally working as intended. It was sub seemingly supposed to be added in last week's update and then it just wasn't added or it wasn't available even though you could see it in your augment selection you can now get this augment which is a fine augment chug splash are not unvaulted but you can get them from this augment I, there was like a decent amount of confusion i saw when i was streaming today where players didn't know if chug splash were back because they eliminated somebody who dropped it you can only get them from this augment as of right now but this is another good augment you know if you're desperate for heals or what I like to do is if I already have all of the augments I want, like let's say I have on the go bag and I already have first shotgun, those are like the two augments I care the most about typically. If I get this as my final augment, sometimes I'll just hold on to it in the event I need heals. That way like we, you basically have two extra item slots of heals in your back pocket via the augments. This could be, you know, a decent strategy in team game modes as well. If you have the augments you already want and then you can kind of get this as your last one. If you get this as your first one, I wouldn't really recommend saving it in the event that you need heals later. I, I would just, you know, take it or reroll. But if you already have the augments you want and then you get this in the last selection, that's a, a pretty nice thing to have at any point you want. 
And then finally, there are some free rewards and challenges for the birthday event. The free rewards are a spray, a birthday pickaxe, and the sixth birthday back bling. There's six challenges. You only have to do five to get the back bling. So there's like one extra challenge you don't have to do basically. And then if you do one challenge, you'll get the pickaxe. And if you do three, you'll get the spray. And the challenges are super easy. Uh, you have to thank the bus driver in one match, land in four different matches. So just touch the ground in four different games, collect three presents. And this doesn't have to be all at once. It's just over the course of playing the game for the next week, get three presents at some point, which is super easy to do. Um, eat five pieces of birthday cake. Again, it doesn't have to all be at once. It's just sometime between now and next Tuesday, eat five pieces of cake. And then there's also use six balloons, which like the previous two, you just have to use six balloons at some point uh, between now and then. If you find the balloon item once, you can just spam a few balloons and then you'll get this challenge done really easily. And there's also a challenge to dance with characters in different matches. That's the one I didn't do. I assume this is just go up to NPCs and dance with them. I don't know what else it would be. Each of these gives 20k XP. And like I said, you only need to do five to get all the free rewards. They're very easy to do. I did all of them, or I did five of them without really intending to. The only one I went out of my way to do was just putting on some balloons when I found a bag of balloons. But other than that, super easy. You get the free rewards and you get 20,000 XP per challenge you complete. But that is going to be it for the birthday update. The presents, balloons, and cake will all be removed next week. Uh, they're just here for the birthday event. So enjoy them while you can. And then you, the challenges will also be removed from the game next Tuesday. So complete the challenges while you can. I think if you're able to play at all between now and then, you should be able to get these challenges done incredibly easy. Uh, you know, they went out of their way to make the challenges as easy as possible. And you do get a nice birthday back bling. But that is going to be it for this video. I'm going to let some gameplay play out of a game I got on stream in the new update. Let me know down in the comments below how long you've been playing the game. I'm interested to kind of hear that. I started playing the game the second day it came out. So September 28th, 2017. Played up until Chapter 2, Season 3. I quit early on in that season and then came back in the middle of chapter two season eight which is like october 2021 and i've been playing ever since but let me know you know when you started playing the game and what your history with fortnite has been it's crazy to think that this game has been out for six years like it just doesn't feel real but um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and just like stand in there bro those dinos made me oh, i'm so annoyed <laughs> i thought those were people it doesn't really matter since the ice wall recharges, but. Jeez. Am I a default? I'm not. This is one of like the old, old defaults. I just put it on for Fortnite's birthday event. This is like pre-season one default. <laughs> 